amongst the high dunes and hillocks lie undulating fairways that provide the uneven pathway to pure greens, built into a landscape that has been shaped by Mother Nature. I was going to say that to you. I've been learning it for the past 10 minutes. Let's hear it. Long me a long ring. No, long. Say it again. Long. Long me a long ring. Long. 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 Like an L E N G. Long. Long. So me a long ring. Lang me a lam rick. Ya lam rick. Rick. Lang me a lam rick. Hi. How was that? That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's day three in Aberdeenshire. We are very much up north. We're at Fraserburgh, right on the coastline. Some big dunes behind you that you can't see right now. We can see a flag that's bent sideways. Scottish flag is waving there in the wind. It's a wee bit windy, to say the least. Come on, here we go. Oh, it's drifting over to that left hand side and there's a burn all the way down there. We shall see. Right, a chance for a par on a uh, brutal opening hole. Oh no, missed down the left. Miss down the left, still going, still going. <laughs> Chance for a par. And in the end, a bogey start, which probably expected from the first tee. That wind is brutal. It's what I like to call proper golf. All your skill, guile and imagination is required to navigate your way from tee to green. You're now answerable to the course and the elements. And I gotta say, I love it. go on a lot about views when I play golf because it's a mega important part of my enjoyment anyway so uh, we, you, a brutal first two holes a real battle there and then you get on the top of the third tee and the hole itself looks fantastic but just look at the views across the uh, the bay the harbour um, over there on the left huge fishing port as I understand at Fraserburgh <coughs> and Peterhead a bit further up the coast there like a solid drive here on three, and uh, but I've literally where that pin position is, I've got not much of a shot to be honest with you. I don't fancy throwing it up and over the bunker because uh, chances are that'll end up in it. So I'm just going to go around the side if I can. Yeah, do you know what? It was a safe option, but probably the right one. I think that chip was the right shot, you know, or chip and run was the right shot. It's got me to pin iron. I don't think I could have realistically got any closer by throwing it over the top of that. Can I hold a birdie? A chance. Oh, you, do you know what? I don't think I've held a putt all week. Right, I've just uh, met Sandy Brown and uh, you remember here, Sandy? That's correct. How long have you been a member? Uh, about 14 years. 14 years? Yeah. And what do you reckon of this place? Fantastic. It is, isn't it? It's, uh... It's a challenge, yeah. Really, especially in days like this. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of a breeze, isn't there? A bit of a breeze, and uh, ever, not two days the same. No, no. So even for me, is what's considered a, a lightweight southerner uh, up in these parts. I'm, 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 I'm allowed to say this is windy, am I? Well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get away with that today.
Right, I'm on to hole number seven. Just take the, uh, took a little bit of a shielded position because I've uh, not been able to speak too much. It is brutal. The conditions are really tough. Stepping out the car this morning, you do think, oh, wow, that is, uh, that's, that's a little bit too much. But I've got to say, the course has been amazing. Um, it requires a lot of sort of creativity. I know the wind is adding to that and uh, that ability to sort of flight that ball down a bit is, uh, is needed more than ever. But as you can see, coming into greens in particular, uh, creativity, imagination is, is very much needed. And a great par three uh, that we've come to on the, uh, on the seventh. Um, a bit further back when you uh, feel a bit more brave from uh, based on the conditions we're off the yellows it's only 130 tiny little green the wind is is really howling all the time off the right so it's judging club is difficult really it's always nice to either have the wind sort of uh, either with you or against you this is quite tough Ay, come on wind do your stuff do your stuff wind Oh, it hasn't done a thing. It hasn't done a thing. Is it staying up? Oh, it's just short of that pot bunker, which was the line I aimed at, and I can't believe it stayed there. What a lovely little par three that is. Why is it the wind never helps you? It needed literally this camber off this slope. The tee shot looked perfect. Anyway, come on, up and down. It's got to sit on that backstop. A bit of a backstop there. Yeah. It was over a bit of a ridge here, down the slope, and then I knew I had a bit of a, you won't be able to see from the camera there, but there's a severe uh, backstop here. So I knew it could be a tad uh, more aggressive, but still leaves a lot for par. And when you think this was just uh, 130 yards, it just shows how difficult a par three can be if it's designed properly. Swing, swing, swing. Oh, again, you won't be able to see from back there just how much that did swing, but uh, believe me, it was a lot, and uh, it was nice to see it go in the hole. Can we birdie the hillocks? Oh, Jesus, the answer's no. <laughs> oh, that looked in all the way. But yet again, the putter lets me down. Come on, and. I sometimes wondered when we uh, titled this series Scotland's Less Obvious, was it, uh, well, some ways a little unfair. What we try to do is obviously highlight courses that uh, very much like I'm filming up this morning, but uh, less obvious might be the title, but uh, in terms of their quality, they're absolutely superb. And uh, stick this one on your list. Phrase of a phrase of Borough, sorry, has been fantastic. This is the 14th of a super par three, and there's been a few of them. That could be good. And is the club right? Is the club right? Sit down. Oh yeah, heart of the green. Take that any day of the week, there's a bit of a ridge in it, but uh, I think that's the safest bet, pin right at the very back today. But yeah, another great golf hole. Three putts and uh, yeah, still smiling. That was a long way short, you know, that flag was another. And then I was much as 20 yards on, it was at least a club short. And uh, yeah, three stab at it. But there you go. Great hole on 16, really sort of uh, framed really nicely by the dunes and uh, some bunkers either side. I'm bravely going with, uh, with driver. That's a decent ball, and you know what, that could be the best drive of it today. That is right down the middle. That's a long way down. That's, uh, that is a good drive. <laughs> well, driver was a bold choice. It's worked out really well for me. I'm going to go again with that low one. Feed it in. Come on, ball. Do something decent and go in. Well, oh, it's the next best. That's... Uh, 
That's nicely played, drive and a uh, little eight iron chip and run. Leading up to 16 and I haven't mentioned is the revetted bunkers and the condition of everything around the course has been superb. Again, condition of the greens and fringes, immaculate. That whole thing, and I talk about them all the time, where these runoffs have been uh, apparent throughout and again, that same old statement, if we do the filming, if we do it any justice, then hopefully you can pick that up from what, we, uh, what we've achieved, what we're trying to achieve. But this is probably the best hole I've played in terms of tee to green and the easiest or shortest birdie chance I've had. I've failed miserably on each attempt so far. Come on. Oh. And he failed again. Well, everything was good apart from the pool. A, um, a dramatic setting backdrop, dunes, revetted bunkers, great greens, I don't know, it's just, uh, it is a real top, top track and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it and it finishes off my Aberdeenshire series so as ever, thank you all for watching and uh, if you get a chance then uh, never turn it down to come and play uh, Fraser because uh, yet again I can promise you, you won't be disappointed. Grand. What's the best we can do? <laughs> can't even give you a bozy. Can't even give you a bozy. Can't even give you a lesson in life, Flora will give it to you. Yeah, yeah just come and see me. She's gone fantastic, thank you. I've been round the horn a few times. You've been round the horn. Yes. I'll give you all your help. Anyway. You're very welcome, Dad. Right, I'm sat here with Eddie, who describes himself. I asked him what his job role was, and he said just a committee member. Member, but so uh, it's fair to say you do you do a fair bit up here, Eddie. Put yeah. a few hours in. Yeah, put a few hours in. I mean, I've actually got a day job, but some often sometimes do say you're here more than you're actually at your day job. But yeah, it's a lot lot of commitment that you yeah. put in an effort. Oh, yeah, it's worth it though. You see things progress, and it is. It yeah, is yeah. yeah. Well, I spoke to a few members out on the course because this is sort of post round, and they're all saying what a fantastic yeah. job the committee are doing. So uh, hats off to you. Yeah. But I, I want to get back to first of all their history. Uh, behind Fraser, we're the seventh yeah. oldest golf club in the world. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah, I mean, it was constituted in April 1777. Right. Uh, and it was actually in the town that the golf was played in the actual in the town to start with, and then we relocated out here in 1891. Okay. When a local peer, Lord Sultan, he gifted the land. Uh, the course is currently sat on. He gifted the land back in 1891. That's where you've been here yeah, since. Been here since. Yeah. So by the that's where we can lay claim to being the seventh oldest club in the world. Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fifth oldest in Scotland, and we believe to be the oldest in the world that still operating under its original name. Fantastic. Which is another sort yeah, of nice, yeah. Sort of nice thing. Well, one of the things is some great holes which we will sh have shown and will show throughout this video. But um, the thirteenth hole, the Helix. Yeah. Which is, I've played that whole fantastic hole, but again, there's uh, a bit of bit of a story yeah, behind that is, one yeah. as well. The, uh, Kyle Franz, who was the sort of course designer for the Olympic course in Rio, yes, he spent a winter in Fraserburgh and he modelled the ninth hole in the Rio Olympic course on the on the hill. On the thirteenth uh, Fraserburgh, so that's another 
history. Claim to fame, yeah. yeah. exactly. It's a great little golf yeah. hole as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. I can imagine you can get into all kinds of trouble. The green and yeah. Stuff like that. It's, yeah, it's a nice hole. Well, I only learned the word hillocks uh, a yeah. few days back, and uh, it's yeah. appeared in the name of the hole. We'll learn a few new words up this way. Name well, the that, that's <laughs> the last thing I want to ask you about is uh, a few days ago I was introduced to uh, a language, uh, yeah. Doric. Yeah. And so that's uh, what. So, what's the region? Would you say that would uh, is it's, spoken? It's probably sort of. I mean, Aberdeen. It's like northeast Nuke. It's yes. It's a local accent or dialect. The term is Doric. Yes. And there's some weird and wonderful sort of words. Well, again, I met a gentleman. Fit like is a kind of greeting, isn't yeah, it? So I've yeah, got that one in, in yeah, the bag. Fit like is like sort of how you do and you keep them well. Or yes. It's like fujia doos. Fujia doos. Is a similar sort of sort of one. Greeting. And even even a game of golf. Some people don't even term it the game of golf. It's golf. It's like G O W F. Right. So. It's great to see that language still spoken. Oh of, to yeah. Be fair. Well, then you got boys and girls. It's loons and quines. Right. I've met a few loons a few times. Is that a boy or a girl? Loon is a boy. Right. And quine is a girl. Right. So, oh, there's, there's actually a Doric dictionary. Is there really? Ah, uh, yeah, there's a Doric dictionary. It's yeah. Is there, is there many Doric swear words? Because I could have done with a few of them when I'm out there. Yeah, no, I can't think of any of them. Is it not? No, we'll don't repeat them anyway. No, no, definitely not. But no, that it, it's just heritage, is it? Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I love it, yeah. Come from, yeah, it? what it's a good just, thing. Yeah, and they actually do teach it in the schools as do well. Do they as well? All oh, right. It was discouraged for a while, but they actually encourage it. How good uh, is that? They do poems and stuff in Doric. Right. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. It's a great yeah. golf course, and uh, I hope we can out this video can uh, show it off and encourage yeah, a few absolutely. more people to get up here because yeah, uh, yeah. nice friendly That's bunch of yeah. thanks for your hospitality Eddie, no anyway. problem. thank you we thank can't you shake much. hands mate how about that no, that's it. cheers bud my trip to Aberdeen here ended in another fantastic hotel this time it was Meldrum House a 13th century mansion with its own golf course This place is pure luxury, but there was only one way to end this trip, and it was a visit to the cave bar. Good night.